Hey the friends, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make two 20 minute air fryer meals for easy weight loss. And guess what? They're gonna be so tasty, you're not even gonna believe it. We're cooking these in my brand new air fryer, and this is what we're making. One, crispy chicken tender sandwich. Number two, pizza bread with crispy potatoes on the side. What we're gonna be making first is the crispy chicken tender sandwich. So this is what you need. First, you're gonna need an air fryer. This is the one I'm using. It's the Ninja Foodie Smart XL Grill. It's a six in one, so it's also an air fryer. Not sponsored, we just bought this from Costco. You need a air uh, oil spritzer or sprayer with some canola oil in it. I learned that you can't use aerosol cooking spray in these because it's not good for them. So some cooking oil, which is canola. Then I've got one large egg and half a cup of egg whites and it's already been beaten in a bowl. We've got some dill pickles sliced and ready to go. Half a cup of panko breadcrumbs with half a teaspoon of ground black pepper, salt, half a teaspoon, so here's the panko. We've also got half a teaspoon of salt, then half a teaspoon of ground black pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and half a teaspoon of paprika. It's all been mixed up and ready to go. Then we need one pound of chicken that's boneless, skinless. I've sliced it into tenders and it's one pound. This is gonna make four sandwiches, so that's the ready to go for tenders. And then half a cup of all-purpose flour. We're also gonna need some light mayo. I'm using Miracle Whip calorie-wise and some buns. These ones are 170 calories a bun. They're the Dempster's Signature Gold Bun. So, you know, 170 calories per bun. Um, Sassy and I are eating this for dinner tonight, so we just need two buns, and we're gonna save the other two for the another day. So this, first, before we get started, I'm making this video because I've lost 130 pounds and I've kept it off for seven years. I did not wanna give up my favorite foods like pizza, fried potatoes, or chicken tenders to lose the weight. So I made low calorie versions my entire journey. That helped me stay on track because I was eating my favorite foods, but still able low calorie, so I was still able to eat in a calorie deficit, lose the weight, and keep it off. And now I'm eating these meals to get my leanest body ever, and I've been buying and wearing size four jeans, which is crazy because I'm eating cool stuff like this. And the air fryer, we just got this. It's gonna take it up a notch because now my low calorie favorites are gonna taste even closer to the real thing. So we're gonna start with dredging the chicken tenders, and I do have a baking sheet over here with a parchment paper. As I dredge them, I'm gonna put them on the tray. Oh, you also need some sort of coleslaw. This is Sassy and I's favorite. This is creamy dill pickle chopped salad. We get it from Costco. We're gonna use this as our coleslaw in the chicken sandwichy thing. And we're making like a chicken tender sandwich because I wanted chicken sandwich and chicken tenders, so I made a hybrid. <laughs> so let's get some tongs. And we're gonna take just mix this up a little bit more and then we're gonna start by putting the chicken in the flour so cover that up then we'll put it I'm gonna attempt not to get everything all swampy but you know <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna put it in the egg and then bring it over to the breadcrumbs eh. So that lasted a couple seconds. I'm gonna use my hands. So much easier. Get in there, man. <laughs> okay, beautiful looking. Now we'll finish all these cuties up. You want a little shot of that cutie? <coughs> We're gonna finish all these up. So go into the flour for you. There we go. Then the egg. And the breadcrumbs. 
Okay, the friends, so the chicken tenders are all ready to go. It's gonna be two chicken tenders per meal. I'm gonna preheat the air fryer to 400 degrees now. Um, it's very loud, so I'm gonna tell you all of this now and then preheat. I'm going to spritz the basket with a little bit of oil. Now this is oil, so we wanna keep the calories down. Um, so I gotta use this, pump it up. There we go. And then just a little spray, not a ton, just enough. Good. And then when these are ready to go in, I'm gonna spritz them a little bit, and then I'm gonna cook them at 400 degrees for about eight minutes to start. And while they're cooking, I'm gonna mix up the creamy dill pickle salad kit. If you get this one, it comes with like dill seasoning, dressing, so I'm gonna mix it all up and then put it on the bun later and I'll show you that. So we're gonna preheat this. You turn it on, air crisp for this one, and then we're gonna preheat at 400 and I'm gonna start with eight minutes. and push start. All right, the friends, it is ready to go. It preheats very fast. I'm gonna lay these out in a single layer, and this is my first time using this, so bear with me. It's an experiment. <laughs> um, we always wing things <laughs> here, and so I may have to cook them in batches. We'll just take a, see, a little look-see here. See, can I fit another one? We don't cook in batches, but. Oh yeah, we don't cook in batches, but slide over, honey. There you go, oh, we did it. All right, so eight minutes, and then we'll flip them, see, see how they're turning out. Are we gonna have chicken sandwiches? We will find out. <laughs> All right, the friends, that's been eight minutes. They're looking pretty cute. I'm gonna flip them over. Wow, they're crispy. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, let's uh, bink them over. They're really looking crispy. really cute. Wow. There we go, don't do that at home. Use your splingers. There we go. So what I'm gonna do is spray the tops of them now. And I think, so that was eight minutes. Um, I'm gonna, I think, go back for, spritz the tops and do maybe another four minutes and then check them yeah, to see if they're done. Yeah, they might not need the whole time. Yeah, they might not need the whole time. So I'm just gonna do a spritz of the tops of them all. Okay, so we decided I'm gonna do four more minutes, and then while the four minutes are going, I'm gonna toss up the coleslaw so it's ready to go on the buns. Okay, the friends, so that's the dill seasoning. Whatever you do, don't forget that. Kyla and I forgot it the first time we had the salad. This is the feta that comes with it, so we're gonna add that in, and then it comes with some cute little croutons all crushed up, add that in there. I think it's actually gonna be delicioso in the chicken tender sandwich. And then it comes with like a creamy dill sort of thing. Let me just, uh, it's like a creamy dill vinaigrette sort of thing. So we're gonna put that all in there and then toss this together so that it's ready to go on the buns. All right, the friends, we ended up being 13 minutes at 400 degrees. They're all ready to go. So I'm just gonna get these on a plate and then we will, I'll show you how to put together a real cute sandwich. It's gonna make four, but like I said, Sassy and I are gonna have just two tonight. So we'll save the other chicken for another day. So I'm gonna take the bottom of the buns and I'm gonna put half a tablespoon of the Miracle Whip on the bottom. Now, we've got two dill pickles sliced up here. I'm gonna divide um, these up between them. Okay, now let's get the chicken. We're gonna top it with two chicken tenders. Whoa. Kinda like that. Looking nice. That looks beautiful. Okay, and now I'm gonna top it with some of this coleslaw here. So let's take a quarter cup like that and then this could get a bit messy. We'll do, oh wow, that turned out cute. And then we're gonna top the bun, the top of the bun with another half tablespoon of some of the Cool Whip. 
the cool whip. <laughs> Ew. Uh, some of the miracle whip, I mean. There we go. Make sure you get the right whip. Yeah, don't get the cool whip. <laughs> and then, oh no, we lost a few. There we go. Okay. And top it. <gasps> Beautiful. Wow, that looks so good. Okay, thumbnail action. Thumbnail action time. I am going to taste test this for you, but first, like I said, it makes four, but per sandwich, 491 calories, 12 grams of fat, 58 grams of carbs, and 38 grams of protein. And that's huge. For a beautiful sandwich. So now, the moment we've all been waiting for, taste test time. I'm gonna cut this in half. I like cutting my sandwiches in half. Is that like normal? Does um, everyone do that? I or? do that for sandwiches. I don't know about burgers or chicken sandwiches, but. That looks great. That looks the cutest I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, let's. Oh my god. Big boy. Mm -hmm. Wow. The chicken is so ju juicy and crispy at the same time. And that dill pickle salad, like, if you guys can get it from Costco, like, go get it. It's amazing in here. Wow, I nailed this, dog. You're gonna love this. Great job. Thanks. So guess what? We're gonna eat this for supper. You don't have to wait, but Sassy and I are gonna wait to make the pizza bread and potatoes tomorrow. You're gonna see the pizza bread in a couple seconds. See it in a flash, cuties. All right, Sass, I got a question for you. All right. Are you ready? <laughs> you know, because we're making pizza bread. Yeah, I got you it. You got it? Yeah. yeah, I told you I'd have an awesome joke for you when we got on camera. <laughs> and you weren't lying, bud. Okay, the friends, it's supper time. We're making pizza bread in the air fryer. This is what you need. We're, um, I'm making two servings of pizza bread, one for Sassy, one for me. That will be two slices of pizza bread per person or per serving. So we need four slices of bread. I'm using the whole wheat Dempsters. We get this at Costco. Then we need 60 grams of shredded cheese. I have shredded and divided it into 15 grams per bread. I have put it on each a different plate so that each bread has its own equal amount of servings. We need some canned mushrooms, a tablespoon for each bread, so four tablespoons. This is just sliced mushrooms from Walmart. We need four tablespoons of sliced green olives. And again, I've divided it into one tablespoon per bread. We need some salt and pepper to taste, some pizza sauce, whoops, that's the French side. We need some pizza sauce. Sassy and I use pasta sauce because it's cheaper. We buy this in bulk from Costco and you get three big jars. So this is um, tomato basil. And we're gonna do a tablespoon again per bread, so four tablespoons. And then we need some lean turkey pepperoni. This one is from Costco. This is like amazing turkey pepperoni. And we have used two turkey pepperonis, sliced it and divided it into four. It's so good you would think it's pepperoni pepperoni, not turkey pepperoni. Re really, honestly, like you would never know that it is turkey. Unless you read the package. I yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna, um, our air fryer will fit two breads at a time, so I'm gonna make them up and uh, fry them. I'm gonna do 400 degrees, sorry, I'm gonna do 390 degrees for about four minutes and then see how it goes from there. So to start, I'm gonna take a tablespoon of the sauce and spread it on to the bread. So I'm gonna do both breads at the same time because I'm cool like that. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna take the, I think I'm gonna put the majority. Salt and pepper or no? I think I'm gonna salt and pepper the top. Okay. Is that wrong? Yes, but that's <laughs> I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the majority of the cheese on the bottom. Oh my goodness. Leave it to Sats, why his name is Sassy. And then I'm just gonna put the toppings on. On the top. Thanks for that. We'll put the toppings on each pizza here. And like, Sass and I like to eat things that make it taste like we're not dieting. So I'm gonna just do salt and pepper to taste on the top. And I'm gonna finish up the other one and then preheat the air fryer. 
All right, turn it on, pushing air crisp. 390 is what I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna start with four minutes. Okay, she's ready. So I'm just gonna pause it. I'm gonna pop a bread in and gonna think it might even quick faster than four minutes, but we're going for four. Ready? One, two, three, begin. All right, it's been four minutes and they are beautifully perfectly cooked. So I'm gonna take these ones out and put the other two in for sassaruni. Perfect. And then we'll make the potatoes. Don't burn yourself, bub. There's one. Oh, crispy. Oh yeah, this is gonna be cute all over the place. Look at that, genius. Genius on, on set, genius. It really smells like a pizzeria in here. And it's beautifully crisp. Like, you're not gonna miss pizza butts. Thumbnail I'm telling action. you. Okay, there's Sassy's, and according to him, his look way better than mine. And you know what, he's kinda right, cause I kinda flinked the pepper. I shouldn't have done so much, but that's okay. <laughs> it's only cause you flinked the pepper, actually. But mine are much better than yours. Yeah, that is. Overall, mine are better. All right, I'll go with that, Mr. Sassaruni. And we're gonna move on to the potatoes now, cause that's what we're eating on the side. So I'm calling these crispy potatoes. This is what you need. You need some canned diced white potatoes. I love these because it takes the whole work out of everything. We need one and a half cups. I've drained them and I've dried them with paper towel. And then we need some oil in an oil sprayer. This is just regular canola oil like we used for the chicken tenders. And then we're gonna use the same spices as the chicken tenders and I'll show them to you again. We need half a teaspoon of ground black pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of paprika, and half a teaspoon of salt. So what I'm gonna do is lightly, again like, we just wanna do a little lightly, not add too many calories, lightly spritz these with some oil. Just a little light one. Give it a toss. Make sure we're pumped. A little spritz rooney. One more for good mesh. I have a contraption in my room that I pump like that. <laughs> He's been waiting to say that. Okay, and then I'm just gonna pour these all in and I'm just gonna toss this around and coat it all up. Real cute, make get sure. In there, bud. Get in there, make it cute, coat it up, coat it up, buttercup. So now those are ready for the air fryer and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up and spritz the basket just lightly with a little bit more of this oil. And you gotta pump it. Pump it, you gotta pump this thing. Spritz it about just a bit, and then I'm gonna preheat this now. I think 400, um, this is an experiment. I've never cooked these potatoes in here, so I'm gonna do 400. Let's go with, um, 10 minutes and because I'll these are already cooked right so they're already cooked so I just want to crisp them and heat them through so let's say 10 minutes I'm gonna check them halfway so let's preheat this now uh -huh. all right it says add food let's add the potatoes so I'm just gonna pour these in oh she's already sizzless there we go just spread them around there and then let's crisp these boys and girls up all right, the friends, I'm gonna do a taste test on these cuties while the potatoes are cooking. But just so you know, two slices of pizza bread, 383 calories, 18 grams of fat, 36 grams of carbs, and 21 grams of protein. Pretty good. Yeah, really good for some lovely pizza bread. Oh, listen to the crispy. Okay, I'm gonna do like an angle, kind of like a sandwich. And let's, wow. You see that cute? Oh, thick action. Look at that. Come on, honey. Mm. <laughs> I like how you said mm, before you even tasted it. I'm never using a toaster oven again. This makes it so crispy on the outside, but then it's pizza yum. All the friends, you gotta do this. Okay, the 
friends, they were finished at seven minutes. I checked them at five minutes and I flipped them and did another two and they are ready to go. So I've got some, what do you call those? Mitten things. And uh, let's pour them on here. And oh yeah, I'm gonna get the scale and weigh them out and uh, show you what a serving size looks Listen like. Listen to how crispy they are, ready? No, you can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to put them all on the scale just to see how many grams they are. 177. Get out my trusty calculator. Now, I'm gonna be using ketchup on these. Are you? Actually, yes. I'm you are? Not, yes, I'm not a ketchup friend, but for potatoes, I think I'm going to. So 88 and a half. So I'm gonna just go like that. They smell amazing. So it works out to about three quarters of a cup per serving, but I'm just doing this scale to make it um, more, you know, equal. That's that's good. That I'm gonna call that two servings. One for me. One for Sassaruni. Thanks. I'm going to do the taste test, but first I'll tell you the cows for this. So for three quarters of a cup, this serving here, it's 124 calories, 1.4 grams of fat, 26 grams of carbs, and three and a half grams of protein. And if you're curious, two slices of pizza bread and a serving of the potatoes is 507 calories, 19 grams of fat, 62 grams of carbs, and 25 grams of protein. And it was so good we already ate half the pizza. Yes, and Sassy's is gone, that's mine. I haven't eaten the whole thing yet, but uh, let's do a taste test. You would never even know these are canned potatoes. Some of the friends are actually saying they've never heard of canned potatoes and just for the convenience alone, we love them. And now that we got the air fryer, it's like a no brainer. It changes it up completely. These are so flavorful, like that was the perfect amount of seasoning. You're, I'm not gonna want for nothing after this meal. It's, a, it's so good. And so this is how Sass and I, we both lost 130 pounds, kept it off for seven years. We make low calorie versions of our favorite foods. It doesn't feel like we're dieting and that's how we've been able to get the weight off and keep it off because we're not sacrificing stuff. We didn't give anything up to lose the weight. We didn't give up flavor, nothing. So if you wanna know more of what I ate to lose the weight, I have weight loss eBooks plus a guilt-free cookbook if you're liking recipes and stuff. Check out the links down below. Use code Nicole to save yourself 10%. And the guilt-free cookbook is like these where we hacked all of our favorite foods and just made them a bit lower calorie or a lot lower calorie actually. Exactly, and a bit more protein so you stay fuller longer. And we gotta do huddled. It's it actually, I call it huddled, but it's HTLT steps. Go to the link down below, get yourself some protein. This is my favorite one. I'm sponsored by this company, but luckier marshmallow. I'm a cereal girl and this is the bee's knees. Use code Nicole to save yourself 10% off. Use code Nicole to save yourself 10% off all of the stuff and you will be a happy cutie. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the friends, hope you enjoyed this. It's actually you guys that inspired us to get the air fryer, so that thank you. You've been telling us for years, you gotta get an air fryer, and we finally did. We finally did, and you were right. It makes amazing food. So look out for more videos like this where we're doing air fryer stuff. Love you, hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe if you didn't already. Like, what are you doing? And um, check out more vids so you can see how Sass and I love our food and love life and just whoop, 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 have fun <laughs> weight loss, because that's what it's supposed to be, fun. And. I'll catch you in the next vid, cuties. Nicole Peace. puts the fun in fun. Nicole puts the fun in Nicole. Call that. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Bye, guys. See ya. Remember, the friends, that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.